One other anime I want to talk about, yes. which I think is being holy shit so underappreciated right now, is <gasps> the new <Gentleman>. Gundam. <sighs> Oh, okay. The I new, it's uh, it's weird seeing just the dichotomy between how popular and how well advertised it is here in Japan. Yeah. And just how underwatched it is with like Western audiences. You go to like- People the, are scared of Gundam. Yeah, you go to like the My Anime List page and you scroll down to, of like all of like the fall anime seasons and Gundam's like right near the bottom. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck is a show this good that's delivering this hard that close to the bottom in terms of like it's, popularity. Yeah, it's it's weird, right? Cause like, I think for a lot of people, Gundam is just like this thing that's been around for fucking, you know, yeah. almost half a century at this point, right? It's and intimidating. It's, it's super intimidating. It's intimidating. Right? Because like people know the name, yeah. but so few have actually sat down and like even watched half of the shit that's come out of the Gundam universe, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And so like when you see a new Gundam, immediately you just think, oh, well, I do want to watch it. It looks cool but that would mean I have to go all the yeah, way back yeah. and watch everything. And obviously right? you don't have to, right? You don't like have to, no, you don't absolutely have to, not. But it, it's kind of like, so there's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound like that person again. Oh, uh, so there's like go separate, so there's like several different timelines in Gundam. And so there's one main timeline that's kind of like the MCU, where it goes all Sounds the like way. Fate. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of, except things are in chronological order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so it goes, and that timeline goes all the way to the very, very first Gundam that was made yeah. in like 1970 or something. And I, I, I haven't watched any of those Gundams mm. because I'm that guy who wants to really immerse myself and know every little Easter egg and stuff like that. Right. <clears throat> so for, in order for me to enjoy some, some Gundams, like for example, Gundam Unicorn or mm. Um, like you know, Thunderbolt, Gund Thunderbolt Gundam mm. Hathaway. Mm. Uh, I would need to go all the way back to the beginning to get the full appreciation of everything going yeah, on. You don't do need to, do like, I, I'm, I'm not saying you need to, this is a me thing, you know? Mm. This, I've, I've been trying for years, like hyping yeah. myself to, to be like, all right, this is the day yeah. where I start my Gundam journey. And yeah. then when I look at the list, I'm just like, maybe next week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then there are certain other Gundams that yeah. are just separate from this main timeline, which mm. are much more, let's say, newbie friendly. Stuff like Gundam Wing, Gundam Double O. Uh, what's, what was the desert Gundam? Fucking- Seed? Not Seed. Um, I call it Gundam Space Africa, cause that's basically what it is. Space Africa? Uh, what? I know what you're talking about. Do you know what I'm talking can about? You, you explain, fucking know what you, I'm talking about. Can you explain Space Africa to me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh fuck! This is this is this is gonna. It's, it's space Africa. <laughs> space Africa. Gundam original shows. Uh, because it it was the last newbie friendly Gundam. It's like you can tell me that I don't need to watch any other Gundam, but something in my brain just will not allow me to watch it and not be like, oh, I have, I, I, I there's, there's y more. Yeah, you naturally. Well, what's, what's the last Gundam you watched? Cause I swear you've mentioned this before. I haven't watched any. Iron Blood Orphans? I, I, Iron Blood I, and Orphans, I watched, that's it. I watched that's an, oh, is that oh, what you're talking one. about? Space Africa? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the Space fuck? Africa. <laughs> yeah, I watched like one episode of that and then I got scared and I was like, no, I'm not watching it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I was like, it's not Iron Blooded Orphans. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's Iron it was Iron Blooded Orphans. Right. I, I'm. Yeah. I, okay. It's scary. All right. Let me let me sell you on like the new oh, Gundam, God. which okay. is Gundam: The Witch from Mercury. Um. So it's a new Gundam. So it's like you. <laughs> you know my one interaction with this with the show, at least when I've heard of it. The uh. last time I ever heard anything about it was when we were in the car mm -hmm. to sh to film with uh, Charlie. Right. Which critical. And the yeah. guy who picked us up was talking about it. Yeah. Oh and, yeah, and he, that's and right. I just remember sitting there and he's like, yeah, it's really, well, actually that's not what he sounds like this, but he's like, this, it's just cool. They have like uh, lesbians in this one. And I was like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh yeah, the main girls are like a couple, right? Yeah. But that was kind, all I yeah. heard about it. Is this guy's like, I just liked that there's the it's like a lesbian <laughs> this time. I'm like, what? I, I mean, I mean, they do like it's it's kind of it's kind of got lesbians in it, I guess. Yeah. Um, Again, I don't know if that's true. That's just what he said, and I was like, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's like it's like lesbian or like it's like Yuri in the same way as like, as like most other. Yuri shows where ah, it's just right, like, right. there's just oh, two yeah. girls that just really, really get along. They're just really good friends. They're just really good friends. Yeah. Like Licorice Recoil, they're just like the, the main two girls. They're just, they're just really, really good friends. Yeah. Are they actually gay? I'll never tell. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we'll never tell. We'll just hint at it. Yeah. But, um, that's up to you. To yeah, decide. that's up to you to decide, Dojin <laughs> Artist. But um, 
No, so yeah, this is a completely newbie friendly Gundam. So you can get into this knowing nothing about Gundam. I, th mm. I think it's designed that way as well. Um, and one thing that Gundam has always been like, one of the main selling points about Gundam has always been the politics, right? And normally a lot of times it's been about the politics of war, right? Mm. You have two warring nations and that's been a lot of like Mecha in general. Uh, what I really liked about um, Gundam, the Witch from Mercury is that it focuses more on like corporate politics. Oh. So it's set in this world where this whole corporation, like mega corporation controls basically every kind of giant robot, every mecha that's made. So right? Google. Huh? Google. So Google fucking, <laughs> like imagine if like Elon Musk- Bezos. Go, Bezos like, or Bezos. Bezos. Yeah, 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 imagine if Amazon took over the world, which they're basically, and just start like, had a monopoly on giant robots. Okay. That would be this like corporation. Right. And within this corporation, there's like branch companies that vie for power within this one giant mega corporation, right? right? Um, and obviously every, Every different every different branch companies makes different types of giant robots and different mechas mm. and stuff like that. Um, and obviously there's a special kind of robots called Gundams using gun technology mm. that obviously is like super fucking OP and stuff like that. Um, and, but it got so OP that it's, uh, they banned the technology in this company by kind of like killing everyone off. And stuff like Fuck that. It. Yeah, you could, so you know, you could have just like made them unemployed. But yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Let's take it out. Just pop, pop. Just men in black, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I really, I really liked the fact that they didn't go down the, you know, they didn't just go down the war route again mm. because I, I found, I found like Gundam. When, when I see Gundam, and I see like another war story. I'm like, okay, I've seen this. I've seen it before. In mm. fact, I've seen it so many fucking times before. Uh, but just seeing them still have a heavy, a show like steeped in politics, but just shift it into like corporate politics and mm. just like vying for like power within this big mega corporation. I thought, yeah, that was, that was, that was a, that's a really interesting take. Like mm. seeing, uh, like one scene that stands out to me is like one of the main characters, uh, one of the main girls has to like pitch this company idea to all of like these mega corporations. So to all the leaders of all the branch company be like, please invest in my company. We are gonna make all the, they basically do a pit, like, like a fucking uh, shark, shark tank, tank <laughs> investor pitch just with fucking giant robots and Gundam. And I'm like, this is, this is actually pretty cool. Cause oh, it's that's like, cool. That's, yeah. that's, an enrich, that's an original take on Gundam. Yeah, sure. Um, and- They've ran out of any, like normal story points. They're like, yeah. uh, shark tank, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, let's fucking, do Fucking, fucking shark tank. Let's do anime tank. shark tank with Max. Uh, what did we go wrong? That sounds yeah. heavy. And it's just like, it's just a lot of these branch companies trying to sabotage each other mm. um, and trying to make like the best giant robots uh, they can. Uh, it's written by the same, person who wrote Code Geass as well. Okay. So oh. it's got a bit of like high school hijinks in it, but it's that's what you expect with like Code Geass. Why, you know? high, why the fuck is that high school hijinks? He's sixty percent less excited to watch it now. Because, because they just made it sound sick, and then you're like, by the way, they're in high I, school. I, I did need to mention that because you know they they needed to add giant robots fighting somehow. You know mm -hmm. because it's a but fucking why high dungeon. school? Huh? Why high school? Uh, it's a high school where basically it's a high school. It's, it's like a, a business it's, school. It's, 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 a, out, it's huh? a privileged high school where daughter and sons of all like the leaders of all these mega corporations kind of like send send their send their kids to this one school mm. and how they settle any dispute in the school is by like is by setting a duel they, they I like that they they set we the, should bring that they, back. yeah they, they, that's that's how this that's how the term starts off is that uh one of the girls is betrothed to one of the uh kids in betrothed, betrothed to Ooh. one of the kids in one of the other schools getting married. Nice. yeah uh, and then there's this main girl who's like, a, comes from like a peasant family, you know, like mm, poor girl. Just like me for real. <laughs> she just like me for real. She, uh, she challenges the guy to a duel and yeah. he, and by winning the duel, uh, she inadvertently also means that the girl, the other girl is betrothed to her as well. Oh, okay. Because that's the rules of the duel that was set. Like, are they like physical duels or are they like, how many stocks and bonds can I buy in five no, minutes? That, that, <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's that's the physical like giant robot jewels. Oh right, yeah, see, yeah, I yeah, see, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, 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 I feel like they added that because they're like, we can't make an entire Gundam just on stocks. They should profits. do that. They should try it. Fuck, Fuck it. we need to add I giant robot like, fights in this somehow. I feel like <laughs> Gundam fans will though. They will watch stocks as long as you say they're trading robots. I think yeah. Gundam fans are like. Okay. It's like my model has Tesla technology. Yeah. <laughs> Watches okay. the stocks rise. Yeah. But honestly, it's a uh, giant robot fights. Fucking amazing. It's mm. one of the prettiest looking mecha shows I've seen in a long time. Okay. Um, 
production values off the scale, but also I think more people need to watch it. And I think people yeah. are scared just because it's Gundam. And I'm just like, just fucking watch it. If they if you ever have been curious about Gundams or if you've it's just been a long time since you've watched a giant robot show, mm. I think this is like the perfect show for that. Yeah. I um, think I think another big reason why people are scared to get into Gundam is as as you said, like it's a lot of them are kind of like the same themes and like mm. the same story, just like repackaged, right? Yeah. Like as much as I like really enjoyed like Iron Blooded Orphans, I will admit I watched it and I was just like, yep, this, this is a Gundam show. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's I, a Gundam I, I, show. I think that's <laughs> also the same reason why I never got as invested in 86 as I thought I should have. I mean, I know your opinion is on 86. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, got, I got tried yeah. in the, in the court of public opinion for saying yeah, that shit exactly. was, that shit Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed 86, but like just, it was just seeing like another mecha show about war yeah. and I'm just like, okay, like, I've, I've, I've seen this before. Right, I, I've right. seen it. It's like different flavors of the same thing. Mm. And not that, not saying that that's a bad thing, but it's just like a story that I've seen before. So I really appreciated uh, Gun and the Wish for Mercury, like just taking like a okay. different route two giant robots, but still making it political, which is one thing I've always now liked here's the about. question. Is it canon with the entire like universe or is no, it like it's a spin-off? Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's its own separate entity, right, which is right. why I say it's like, you can jump on right, right, as a newbie knowing nothing about Gundam because right. it's got nothing to do with Yeah, I'm a, I'll be anything. honest, I probably won't watch that. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I, it I, 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 I saw like, as soon as I mentioned high school, the lights from Connor's eyes just like fucking- I, I, was, already, smile <laughs> just I was already kind of like, eh, it sounds okay. And then yeah. you mentioned that, I'm like, no. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to watch that.